The classic Twilight Zone episode, It's a Good Life, aired on November 3rd, 1961. It was written by Rod Serling and was based on the 1953 short story by Jerome Bixby. I've linked to his work in the description below. The episode follows the residents of Peaksville, Ohio, a small town that has been isolated from the rest of the world by the godlike powers of a six-year-old boy named Anthony Fremont. Anthony can read minds, manipulate reality, and create or destroy anything he wants with his thoughts. Sometimes he creates monstrosities for his own amusement, and then when he's bored of his new creation, well, things don't go so well. I'll make him dead now. I'm tired of playing with him. Be dead. Gopher, you be dead. It doesn't stop with animals either. Anthony's lack of companionship comes from the fact that even other children who offend him are at risk of being horrifically punished. Anthony possesses a cruel temperament, demanding that everyone in the town think happy thoughts and do what he says, or else face being changed into something grotesque or banished to a cornfield from which no one ever returns. Anthony, you... You wished him away into the cornfield, and the mommy and daddy were real upset. The episode mostly takes place during a birthday party for his family's neighbor, Dan Hollis, which also falls on television night, the one night of the week in which Anthony allows people to gather round and watch whatever he's chosen for them. Tensions rise as Dan, after drinking a bit too much, decides to confront Anthony, calling him a monster, and begging someone to bash the child over the head to free them from their hell on earth. Would somebody take a lamp or a bottle or something and end this? No one does, and life goes from bad to worse for Dan, as Anthony turns him into a jack-in-the-box that he then wishes away, all while his wife watches, powerless to oppose their tormentor. On a whim, Anthony then makes it snow, and despite all his hard-working father's crops being ruined, there's nothing he can do but look to the future and despair. But it's good that you're making it snow, Anthony. It's real good. And tomorrow, tomorrow's going to be a real good day. <laughs> It's a Good Life is a classic example of a dystopian story where a society is controlled by a powerful and oppressive force. Power without responsibility or accountability can lead to corruption and tyranny. And, as the saying goes, when power is absolute, it corrupts absolutely. Anthony Fremont is a child who has no moral guidance, and as he's never experienced negative consequences for it, uses his power to manipulate the world around him without limits, leaving the other helpless townsfolk in a state of perpetual terror. He does not care about their suffering, as long as the world is to his liking. Fear can paralyze and silence people, preventing them from taking action or speaking up against injustice. The residents of Peaksville have to pretend to be happy and obedient, even when they are miserable and oppressed. They are afraid to challenge him and to express their own opinions. They have lost their freedom, their dignity, and their hope, illustrating how fear can be a powerful tool for control, and why courage and resistance are essential for survival and change. Happiness cannot be forced or imposed, but must come from within and from fostering genuine relationships. Anthony tries to force people to be happy and will punish them if they're not, but happiness is not something that can be given or taken away by external forces. It is something that originates from the peace and contentment of one's soul. If you liked this trip into the Twilight Zone, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I feel like you'd also love crossing over into these other Twilight Zone videos.